Hello everyone, we are here today with Too Hot to Handle. This is still season one, but we're at episode 10, which is chapter 37. We're officially on the last part of Too Hot to Handle. Thank you so much for being here today. I really appreciate you. Without further ado, this is what we're getting up to today. Candace is going home. And Lana seems to have some important news for us. Let's find out more. Lana is sending Candace home. I can't believe it. Candace looks just as shocked as you are. Candace, since arriving at the retreat, you have failed to commit to the process and have actively been an obstacle in other people's relationships. In order to allow current, stronger connections to continue, it is time for you to leave the retreat. Candace jumps up from her chair. This is so unfair. I... Her lip quivers for a second, but she quickly masks her feelings with a glare. I'll make my exit then. I was bored here anyway. Omri stands up and walks over to her. Hey, don't say that. You've made some friends, right? Sarah joins him and smiles at Candace, who suddenly looks uncertain. Of course she has. We'll miss you around here. No one quite parties like you. To everyone's surprise, Jada stands up and pulls her into a hug. We're sorry, Candace. You must be gutted. It's okay to cry, you know. Candace's eyes fill with tears. I... I don't want to go home. A few contestants don't seem to believe her tears. They're polite enough to stay silent. You watch Alex walk over and give Candace a pat on the back. How do I feel about Candace leaving? I should wave goodbye to her. I think civil, I stay civil. Candace and I might have had our issues, but I should let bygones be bygones. When Candace looks your way, you smile and wave goodbye. She returns the wave with a small smile of her own. After a few more minutes and one more tearful look, Candace leaves the cabana. Everyone starts getting up, but then Lana lights up again. Amber, yes. And Alex. Alex shoots you a worried look and you can't help but feel the same. You start to wonder if you might have accidentally broken any rules recently, but nothing comes to mind. We've been good, haven't we? The same thought seems to be flowing through Alex's mind. Luckily, Lana soon puts your worries to rest. As we begin to enter the final phase of my program, it is time to recognize the progress that has been made and give you the chance for redemption. Ooh, are we gonna get the money back? I'm offering you the opportunity to demonstrate restraint and growth in our private suites. This is a chance to get to know each other more deeply without distractions. You and Alex share a big smile. No way. A night in the suite with Alex? I think it's a dream come true. Thanks, Lana. Yeah, thanks, Lana. But just out of curiosity, how much money is left in the prize fund? Alex puts their arm around your shoulder and smiles bashfully, inspiring a few uneasy looks. You laugh and gently push it off to defuse the situation. Don't worry, everyone. We'll be good. Still, you can see a few careful looks being exchanged. As you're getting ready for the suite, you browse through your selection of acceptable outfits. I need something special to wear tonight. Just then you find the perfect thing, which we're gonna get to find here. So as for hair, I actually think we should keep on what we've got. The only other option really is this one, which could be us without our extensions in, I assume. But I think we're gonna stick with this one. Now, in terms of outfits, we have three potential options, which I do like. We have this one, very black, very minx. And we have this one as well. I kind of feel like this one is the most like amber. So I'm tempted to go for that one. I am also gonna take off our face jewelry, which for whatever reason, I just keep forgetting to do. I think this is gonna be the look we go for. Wow, you look amazing. Alex is gonna be all over you. Thanks, Jada. I'm really looking forward to it. She gives you a wicked smile. So are you gonna take advantage of the privacy? You mean break the rules? I don't know. It will be tempting though. Want my advice? Of course. Well, I know you told me I shouldn't break the rules since it's almost the end, but I kind of feel like that's exactly why we should follow our hearts. Like, yeah, the prize money? Oh, it's fab and all. But who knows how your relationship will work out once this is all over. I say, have a blast now. It gives you a warm smile, which you soon return. Thanks, Jada. I appreciate that. I just don't know if everyone else feels that way. Who cares about them? You do you. Anyway, I'm meeting Carter. Have fun tonight. I will. She beams at you and walks away. Hmm, Jada encouraged me to break the rules. I kind of doubt anyone else would agree with her. You head for the door. I don't have time to think about that right now. I have to meet Alex at the suite. Wow. You find Alex soaking in the tub. Oh, wow, look at you. Did the party start without me? Alex laughs. Sorry, I couldn't resist. This tub is incredible. It looks like it. Mind if I join you? Only if you keep your undies on. Don't want to break any rules. You smile at them. Nope. You slowly get into the tub, carefully testing for heat, 
But the water is the perfect temperature. Once you're in, you cuddle up next to Alex. This is amazing. And it'll be even more amazing once we do it someplace with no rules. Is that the first thing on your list for us? Another bubble bath? No. What do I most want to do with Alex? I'd say, let's go on a romantic date. What I most want is to take you out on a romantic date. Oh, I'd love that. You nod and grin. I know we've had dates here too, but I have plans to take you out for a night on the town. Alex smiles. That sounds like fun. But until then, we can enjoy this moment too. You and Alex talk for well over an hour, enjoying each other's company. And eventually you start talking about your past. Looking back, I often hesitated when someone seemed really into me because I wasn't sure they were seeing me for who I really am. And then coming in here and meeting you, it changed everything. You nudge them playfully with your leg. Oh yeah? How? You're kind and sexy and fun and you're someone I want to get to know better. And speaking of that, I wanted to ask you, how come you weren't into serious relationships before? How did I end up being a serial dater? I wanted to have fun. When you're hot, young, and really love sex, isn't that good enough of a reason? Alex nods. Oh, it is. But do you still feel the same? I don't. Now that you and I have taken time to really build something special here, no meaningless fling out there can measure up. They shoot you a happy smile and you know that this is the answer they were hoping to hear. You stay there talking for a while longer, but when the water starts to get cold and when Alex becomes too irresistible, you gesture to the bedroom. How about we take this party elsewhere? Sounds good to me. Let's do it. And as you watch Alex walk into the bedroom, you wonder how you're supposed to keep your hands to yourself all night. Wow. The question on your mind gets even louder once you see the bedroom. Your jaw drops. Wow. Talk about a scene. Spread out on the bedside table are all different kinds of adult toys. Handcuffs, whips and massage oil. Lana sure likes to test us, eh? Yeah, I'll say. It's like she wants us to break the rules. Alex grabs a whip and playfully cracks it. Too bad this isn't really my thing. Although a massage could be fun. You smile as an idea pops into your head. A massage sounds great. What do you say we use that oil and switch? We could both use it. That works for me. Massages aren't against the rules. I'll massage you first. You smile and get on the bed. Alex pours some massage oil on the hands and then straddles your legs. Where are you most tense? Where can I use a massage? Definitely my lower back. Lower back, please. I'm always the most sore there. Alex starts rubbing your lower back. They press hard into your hips and waist and the pressure is delicious. Wow, you're so good at this. Thanks, Alex. My pleasure. As if to accentuate those words, Alex then brushes their fingers against the small of your back. When they reach lower, they slow down and as you imagine them going lower and lower, they stop. After they're done, you give them a massage. You underestimated how tempting a massage can be though. And when you're done, you're both aroused. Amber. Yes, Alex. They take a moment to collect their breathing, but you can still tell they're turned on. Their burning gaze locks onto your eyes and you suddenly feel hot. Right now, I don't care about the rules. All I want is you. I want you too, Alex. Do I want to break the rules with Alex? No, I'm going to turn them down. We're doing a good run here. But we can't. We're too close to the end to lose any more money. You're right. We could be doing this freely in a couple of days. Exactly. So I think we should have some good, clean fun instead. Alex settles in beside you. I like the sound of that. Alex smiles and moves into your arms. And that's where they stay for the rest of the night. The next morning, everyone is told to gather at the cabana. You and Alex are the last to arrive. And so you are immediately the center of attention. Oh, that's so lovely. Look at that outfit. Oh my gosh. They're probably all wondering if we break the rules. I'm going to make a joke. You put on a smirk and sigh. What a great night, eh, Alex? I hope there's enough money left in the prize fund for two coffees and a hearty breakfast. Nobody but Alex seems to find your joke funny. In fact, the energy just seems to get weirder. Wait, why are you looking at us like that? Before anyone can answer, Lana turns on. Good morning, everyone. And good morning to Amber and Alex. I hope you had a good night in the suite. We definitely did. Your stay in the suite was the ultimate test of restraint to further your connection without surrendering to your physical desires. However, this was also a test of trust. You pause, surprised, and turn to Alex. A test of trust? What is she talking about? Jada looks at you sheepishly. Last night, after you went off to the suite, we had an option to guess what you and Alex would do, if you would break a rule or not. What? <gasps> Wait, what? They had to vote on whether they thought we were going to break the rules or not. Why do I feel like that means that we're going to have a punishment or something? They're definitely going to think we broke the rules, right? This is our recap. So we waved Candice goodbye, like 30% of people. Although 40% of you called Candice a phony. So good for you. Also, we told Alex you'd always love to have fun, but 
40% said that we've been cheated on and 40% said that we used to have a one-sided crush. So we definitely took one of the lower options for both of those categories. But let me know what you thought down in the comments below. How do you think this series is going to end? How do you think they're going to vote? I am so nervous to see what's going to happen, but we're going to make it on to episode 38 and finish the series very, very shortly. Only three episodes to go. This has been a long journey for us. I think I started posting this on my birthday last year. Um, maybe two years ago now, which is just absolutely wild to think about. As always, a massive thank you to our members who, as always, keep the channel running. They are fantastic. We couldn't do this without you. Thank you so, so much. And thank you to you for watching. If you have enjoyed it and you haven't already, please do like the video, subscribe as well, and click the notification button so you know every single time I upload a video. Thank you so much for being wonderful and for watching this video, and I will catch you in the next one, which will be out very soon. Goodbye!